Hello, hello and welcome. I am Sha from Game with Sha and we are reviewing a new game. This game came from Keymailer. I requested the key and they accepted, so I have the key. Yay! It is out now, so you can buy it for £11.39 at its actual price. This is an ecosystem type game as well and I the last one of the last reviews as well which I really really enjoyed which was called Territory. That was an ecosystem game as well and I really enjoyed playing that to the point of saying that I'll do a mini series on that. I'll link that down below. Now some of the questions I will ask in this is what is it worth? What would I actually be willing to pay for it? Is the game fun? Is there a storyline? If so, is it any good? And are there any bugs? Uh, this game is from Corsney.com, uh, developed and published by Freemind SA. So we can claim a reward before we've even started. Nice, yes please. Ah, oh, little animal. Rewards can be accessed in collections menu. Okay. So we've got like a tank that's filling up here. Oh, what did I do? I can. Can I drag this? I've got the draggy hand. I'm very confused. Okay, so we can create a vivarium, customize and create new tanks or start new scenarios. Uh, save active tank state while playing. Uh, select a vivarium if you've already created one. You've got collection. So we did just unlock a little uh, thing. Oh wait, we can put that, can we do something with that? I have no idea. Wait, I've just lost it. Oh, there it is. Okay, awesome. We'll leave that. <laughs> uh, what sort of things can we play within here? We've got gameplay. I do like knowing what we have in settings. So we have auto save on, auto save intervals you can change, which is good. Evolution indicators, tool tips, dialogue. So we've got tutorials, we've got the Vivarium uh, controls. No personal. I'm finding it quite hard to read with all this transparency. Um, I will say that straight up. <laughs> We're going to go for a scenario because I feel like that makes sense uh, as we don't know what we're doing. Welcome to my experiment. Feel free to experience it from east to west and to contemplate the beauty of my creation. Now, straight off the bat, I'm gonna say with the words we're using here, contemplate and things, this isn't a game for kids. You're gonna look at your older audience for this. It's very beautiful. I like how realistic it looks. It really pops out if you look at it from this angle. Okay, so we can drag it around as well. Press Q, E. Oh, that's cool. So we can see it like that as well. And then move around in that as well. Okay. Uh, come on, don't be afraid. Come closer, see the micro. Ah, look at that. That's really cool. Wow, we're going closer and closer. Okay, that's too close. I feel uncomfortable now. <laughs> um, now, do you see this blinking arrow? Press it. Yes, yes, look. Oh, wow, what's going on? Oh, this is your speed. Scenario completed, yay! Play the next one. Okay, so unacceptable behavior. There are dangerous chemicals and fragile organisms here. You need to learn how to handle them first. Okay, I was just about to introduce the procedures safety. See this algae, you can grab it with your hands and move it around. Ah, here we go. So hold alt first and then left click. <laughs> well, congratulations, Dr. Ely, for this great introductory course to classical physics given before time controls. What? Oh, wait, you don't, didn't. Just move this plant anywhere, please. Uh, put it back on the ground so it can keep growing. And for now, reach for the eternal powers for the... Epcos, Epchos, vibrating through our veins for, what? Please press the fast forward, to, for, okay. So we're watching it grow essentially. Oh my God. Um, that, great, now back to the point, try taking a root node clipping from one of these. Oh, well I picked the plant up. I don't think I was supposed to do that. <laughs> take a cutting. How do I take a cutting? 
Right click, left, and control. This is an interesting game. Um, no, no fun, only science. Now take the cutting from the node of this read. Make sure, take a cutting from the top. So we go control. Yeah, let's do the same. Okay. Yay, we've got some plants. Those are leafy plants. You, We call them nightshades. For one, for some reason, only nice plants on this planet are considered nightshades. Okay. Now take a cutting of the leaf. Oh my God. And plant it. Before planting, use our ultrasonic molia. See the circles on the ground. I'm, I'm really done with this. See this, it's a flower. Obviously it is. Take a cutting of it. Oh my God. This is, so yeah, we're using control again to grab a flower. Um, and we use that shift thing. Oh my God. Right. So this game, it's an interesting game. I think it's going to take a lot to get used to it. I mean, a lot to get used to it. I think I'd like to play it myself for a bit, learn how to play it, and then potentially come back with an actual tutorial. Also on the website, you'll definitely see tutorials for this, um, as along with the review of this, because there's a lot to it, a lot to it, and it's not all clear. Because they're trying to do this fun scientist versus a very um a scientist scientist <laughs> i think it's come it's getting across as very confusing i definitely went silent in parts of this video so it's probably going to be shorter just because there was a lot to take on so if you want a full tutorial guide on this make sure you check out the website gamingwithshar.com where you will find all things uh, uh to do with reviews as well as everything to do with the sims 4 um, and so many more games coming to the website. But this will definitely have a place in a tutorial because it is needed, because this isn't clear. You get it eventually, but it also takes so long for some of the text to tick over because it's automated and you're not clicking to move the text along. It just means that sometimes you're gonna miss bits potentially or it's gonna stay up for too long. Um, I'm not a fan of auto move along text. I'd rather have the control myself. Um, yeah, so how do I rate this game? I think the game is worth, I mean, I think they're underselling it. I think they could easily get 15 for this um, from what I've seen so far and the depth, just the sheer depth of this game, I think they're underselling it. Um, but that's a personal opinion. You can disagree. Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, what your answers are to all the questions. Is there a storyline? Not one that I found, but there is a lot of text. I think it could be a fun game, but I think learning the tutorial guide is going to be painful. Um, so, and that's just, again, a personal, personal uh, opinion, a personal gripe. <laughs> um, bugs. I didn't find any bugs. I didn't play for very long, though. I will say that. And so as I go through building a tutorial for this and I bring out more episodes of this because it will be episode based, I will be very interested to know if there are any bugs because it seems like such a very in-depth system that you can find that bugs appear from the coding with more complicated games. So it'll be interesting to see if there are any, hopefully not, of course. Um, but yeah, I did enjoy playing it, I, I'm enjoying a different concept for a game as well. I've never seen a concept like this really. Obviously there's all those fish tank games, but there's nothing really for adults in the fish tank game, um, if that makes sense. I think it makes sense, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> so if you have enjoyed this review, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. I am about to do another review <laughs> on another game. I've already just done one as well. Um, I'm getting loads of keys from Key Mailer now, um, which is fantastic. So if you've enjoyed this, like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next review. Bye.